Let me tell you guys a story. You know, the story of the rabbit and the turtle. You know, they got in this big race. You know, and the rabbit, everybody know he was gonna win. You know, he's the fastest guy, you know. But this particular race, it was a race of obstacles. And the race of obstacles was gonna determine who was the winner, whoever could get past those obstacles. So, everybody know that the rabbit is fast, he can run. So, the turtle was too slow. So, you know, it's pretty much a landslide contest. So, here's how the race begins. The rabbit is going fast, goes right past the turtle. He goes right past that turtle, and he is bumping into every obstacle that has ever popped up, it is slowing him down. But the turtle, on the other hand, is taking his precious time, moving at his pace, and just going past the obstacles. He's going over them. He's going over those obstacles, and he's actually catching up to the rabbit, as shocking as it may be. The rabbit still wants to go fast because he believes that speed and going real fast is going to win him this race. And the turtle believes that waiting and being patient so he can get older obstacles will win this race. So, they're halfway through the starting line. They are running. The rabbit keeps running and running and running. Running so fast. And yet he continues to bump into obstacles. It continues to slow him down. It continues to knock him even back a few steps. But, on the other hand, the turtle still going over obstacles, still taking his precious time. And yet, surprisingly, the turtle has taken the lead. The turtle has taken the lead and halfway to the finish line, the rabbit just cannot believe in his eyes that he is about to lose to a slow turtle. So the end of this story, when nobody believed in the turtle, the turtle actually won this race. Why? Because he was going at his own pace, he dodged all the obstacles, and he actually won. So the rabbit was trying to figure out how the heck did he win. He took his time and he waited. And that story shows us that a lot of times we go fast in our life. We move too fast. We go at a pace to where we are not back some. We are not back a couple of steps. We are not back down to a point where we don't want to be at, but at the same time, we put ourselves in that position, we put ourselves in that own pace. And the real story of it is, we really supposed to wait and take our time in order to dodge the obstacles. Because we lack to wait on God, we lack to be patient with God, we lack to go God's pace and the pace that God wants us to go. We don't want to go that pace, we want to move too fast. Now I'm not saying take action and stay still, I'm saying move at your own pace. Everything is not gonna happen just all willy-nilly. You know, you're going into the race of life. And when you're going into the race of life, you have to take your time, be patient, and continue to push forward. Take your time, be patient, in order to dodge the obstacle that's gonna come in your way. Cause walls are gonna hit you. Obstacles are gonna hit you. There are gonna be spikes in the road. There are gonna be everything that's going to try to stop you but at the same time life is always going to be like that but it's up to you to what pace you want to go do you want to go too fast and miss the blessing that God wants to give you or do you want to take your time and be patient and move the pace that God wants you to go in order for you to get to where you want to be see what you need to learn is always take your time always go at your own pace to where you can handle it and always look to God to see what pace he wants you to go. I'm not saying stand still, but I'm saying learn to wait on God while you're trying to do a, a process because God can take you into bigger and better routes. So understand when you're going against the race of life, you need to take your time in order to dodge the obstacles that the devil always sets in front of you. Joshua Peterson, I'm out.